textures that we created in Mudbox back here in Maya. Everything came in correctly. Uh, so the nice thing about sending things back to Maya from Mudbox, uh, Maya will go ahead and uh, lay out the textures that you created, which is what we have here. So we've got uh, reflection, So we have reflection, we've got our specular, our diffuse, and a bump, all tied in here. And we can see this corresponding over here with our color. Go ahead and see that coming in right there. I like to make sure that the filter type is turned off. It usually defaults as quadratic. I like to turn that off for rendering. So you may want to go ahead and do that. Okay, and just looking down here, there's our bump. We select that, turn that off. And you may also want to take the bump down to something like 0.2. It defaults at 1. That's probably a bit too high, so make sure it's down to 0.2 or 0.1. will work nicely. And the last thing, we're going to go ahead and come into the outliner, and we're going to select the top layer here of the grouped jerry can. And we scaled this up to 90 to bring that into Mudbox. I'm going to go ahead and take that back down to 1. And we translated it up as well. So I'm going to take that back down to 0. And that should bring us back to its original size. There you have it. And this pretty much concludes the demonstration for Maya to Mudbox workflows. In another series of lessons, I'm going to be bringing this jerry can into a scene with a soldier and a gun, as well as building a pedestal for that, and posing the character, and adding a three-point light rig, and setting up some render variables, and creating a turntable. So go ahead and look for the jerry can continuation in the next series of lessons.